I am talking about the sixth grader project and I will show you the final result here you get charts that we're doing here you're doing several of them we're doing calculations I'll just click on each one here you're doing a pie chart you're doing this one here it shows the data when it's clicked on what it is about there and this is the salary chart a scatter chart I'm going to go through a few of these for you let me go back into the original file that we're doing at least you're getting to see what the assignment looks like you're doing a few calculations in here and you do have to do some comparisons in here for example what they want to know here they want to know the completion rates here if there were four year people here with their completions here what the percentage was so when you're doing that it tells you very specifically what you are doing for example you're dividing C4 by B4 other thing too you have to put in an absolute which will be the absolute B4 or C4 because you're going to copy it over to the right you're doing it for the rows going down so think this out when you're doing it it should be relatively simple to realize this here which is the constant uh, some of the examples that I am doing in here you're going to be doing some statistics and other things here average minimum maximum here and those like if I'm looking at let's say an average you would be averaging the numbers here the totals here you're going to be doing averages in one set totals over here not saying which one read the instructions it shows you how to do it I want to talk about doing the charts charts are basically simple when you're doing it you've got to pay attention to detail I'm gonna do this first one in complete detail I'm highlighting here a3 and f3 through h8 what I'm going to do I'm gonna go back into this one here where I've done this once this is what it will look like and I have the formulas in there so what you're doing in here I'm going to highlight A3 through A8 and then I want to do F3 through H8 hold down the control key we're going to do a chart a 3d clustered column chart we go into insert I click over here 3D clustered column chart move the mouse you want it to be right over a 20 if you don't get it in the precise location you're going to be in trouble I'm hot I'm actually going to show this one over to the side here so you can compare to see what is going on don't change the size like if you do something like this you're gonna lose points you want to go into the chart style you got the chart tools here style 3 display both horizontal and vertical axis titles you have these little drop down these things here. you click inside here I could go over here axis titles click over here and it shows it there I had to type information in here you click in here I'm going to show you the easy way to do it. You could click inside the formula bar and type in axis, sorry, campus. And then over here, it will be completion rate. Make sure, and then I have, I click in here again formula bar make sure you spell correctly so we've got that they want 
the legend at the right. You can see how it's over here. I click in here. Easy way to do it, you can just right click inside here, format legend. You get these things showing up over here. I click on right and it's showing over there. I can close this out. And it also said to do colorful palette three. Do it in the correct order. I click on design, change color, colorful palette three. We got that one done. Okay. Going back into the other one here. When you're doing these charts, if you had a chart, for example, like this, you want to put it on another page, I could just click inside here, go on the design, move chart to a new sheet, campus completion, showing up over there. I'm not following the instructions precisely. I am showing you things that you can do there. If you need to size a chart, I'm going to move this chart back over to the other page. If you want a specific size, I'm right here. I click on format. Let's say I want to make it seven inches tall and let's say six inches high. So if I'm following instructions, doing that. If I want to display data labels above, below, or to the side, I click inside here. I could just right click in here. Or, other way of doing this, it's showing things here like data labels, choices. Check it off. So they're showing above there. Uh, you got this thing here. Other styles. This you can filter it down if I only want to show a couple of charts that's not definitely on here if you're doing another chart such as a 3d chart I'm just going to show an example to do a 3d chart floating back into this one here because you have to have these calculations done so I'm going to do the 3d pie chart and that was based on data. Again, I'm doing an example. So if I want to just do it based on this, actually something like this, I'm just going to say insert 3D Pi. I'm just going to make it bigger so you can see it. If you want to change things here, you could right click here again, format legend, make it at the right. I'm not following the thing exactly, but if I want to call this entertainment, click in here. And if I want to explode the pie, that can be a little tricky here, but I see it right here, format data series, pull it there to the percent that we want. That's a little too far. Uh, when you're doing the scatter chart, again, the skills that I'm showing in these two charts will help you with the completion. Uh, it's just reading instructions carefully, as I've always said. It goes through all of this in the text. Uh, one final thing here, if I go into this chart here. Hold on. Wasn't there. Give me a second here. I probably deleted the chart. Let's go into the other page here. Final thing that I will show you. So I've got this right here. That chart there. I want to just make it a little smaller. So you can see it. What I want to show. If you want a minimum, maximum bound here. You can click inside here. Double click. You get these things here where you could change numbers and bases. Like if I want to show 90%, I type in 0.9. And if you want to change the major units from a tenth to let's say 0.2, it changes the lines over. Oops, sorry. 
See how it changed things there? Going 10, 30, 50, 70. You've got things here. If you could go into the fill. A lot of this is just right clicking, fooling around with this. Please make sure you're following the instructions in the My IT Lab and in the text, and you'll do fine.